Today I'm going to show you two Windows applications that make your Windows computer more modern in general. So, go to the first link in the description and you will see Jaxcore, or, well, your flyouts from Jax, the person who made Jaxcore. Anyways, just scroll down to the bottom, you'll see this installation thing. We just want to copy this whole thing, Control C, press the Windows key, type in PowerShell, then you just need to click on it, then you want to right click to paste, and there you kaboom. It's done. It's now going to be downloading all the crazy stuff, and we just got to wait for it. So once it's done downloading or installing, you need to click Jaxcore, click here to install. It should automatically do it. Literally, like, I haven't done anything. I've just been sitting in front of my computer and watching it. And when it's done, you can click get started or skip the setup wizard. I'm just going to get started and go through the wizard because, I mean, why not? You can add desktop shortcut, hardware acceleration. Sure, why not? Kaboom, continue. And, uh, oh, prioritize game performance. You can configure that now, configure it after. Whatever, we'll do it now. Uh, continue. Uh, uh, finish installation. Oh gosh, okay, it's this thing here Rain Meter, game mode. Just turn on full screen games, and there you go. Anytime it's full screen, it'll turn off all this stuff. Anyways, let's just uh, close that. And now we have our Jax Core stuff popping up. I'm gonna minimize this. So, for jack score or whatever it's gonna say modules just i mean you could go through the whole thing as you can tell maybe the uh maybe the setup is a little confusing but it's okay because we're gonna go to modules then we're gonna go to your flyouts and it should already be installed so we want to click yes walk me through the setup just so no one gets lost and caught behind. So click let's go. Now, if you're a fancy gamer, you can do now playing and figure that stuff out. If you're stupid like me, just Windows API, okay? Then do you want any animations? You can pick your animation. I'm just gonna go with the default because I am I just can't make any, I can't make up my own decision. So now for this brightness flyout mode, basically this is just going to like, you know, change your Windows brightness. If you have a laptop, click hardware. If you have a desktop, click backlight. And if you don't want it, like I personally don't want it, then click none and kaboom now you can set your accent colors oh it's just going to tell you what to do all this stuff i'll show you later so now if i use the media uh, keys on my keyboard you'll notice that uh ooh, that looks a little bit different than usual so let's change how that thing looks go to layout and this is where we kind of pick our uh, our basic uh themes you can buy dlcs which are also known as other themes but we're going to go through the free ones because i know 90 percent of you aren't going to spend money on anything because all my free Nitro videos are the most popular. Excuse a lawnmower outside. Anyways, I'm going to pick this one down here. So now if I play a song, you'll notice that it'll pop up. I can control the volume of the system by just using media keys. And I believe you should be able to also just mouse over and click on it. Just like that. And control your music. See, it, it, it literally just did what the Windows one did, and I didn't have an issue with it. Anyways, let's change it up and tweak it a little bit. So we can go to appearance and we can actually change the color. So you have layout scale, which is just the size of it. Border width, you know, all basic stuff. Background color you can change. I want the accent color to maybe not be uh, purple and maybe be a little pinky. Kaboom, done. Now I just click play. You'll notice it now has that little pink accent color. It's, it's literally that easy. I mean, I don't really know what else to tell you. You can mess around with the settings and it's pretty quick and easy. Same thing with position. If you didn't like it on the right side and you want it at the top left as usual, just click on the top left up here, click on play. There you go. Like, it, it's literally that easy. If you want it on a different monitor, then you just change your monitor index. Anyways, let's move on to the next tweak. Now, our next tweak is going to be the second link in the description, and that is going to be Flow Launcher. Now, it should be on the most recent version. Uh, it'll be this link, and it'll look like this. Then, all you need to do is just scroll down and click flow-launcher.setup.exe. Then, when it downloads, you want to open up the installer. And now let's go through the install process. Now, once again, full launcher is kind of that middle thing in the middle. Middle thing in the middle. Wow, fantastic wording by myself. But it's the uh, little search bar thing that's kind of like the Mac OS Finder. I did a video on a different version. I feel like this one's just a lot more refined and easier to use. Anyways, let's burn through this setup. Click next. Uh, you can have your hotkey as alt space. You can change this to whatever you want. I like alt space. I'm going to do next gives you more hotkeys that you can totally not memorize and then figure out as you use this more and more. Then you have action keywords and commands and it's gonna tell you what you can do so you can search up like weather, Bluetooth and Bluetooth settings, SN for sticky notes, there's little shortcuts, you can do shell commands. 
Basically, you can do a lot of stuff on this, okay? Anyways, you can change how it behaves so you can have it show up when you start the system, or you can just have it hidden and running in the background. Anyways, click done. So now, if you just press Alt Space, you can type in whatever you want, um, whatever you want, and it'll search Google for that. I could also search up app data, and it'll go to my app data folders. I can also search up uh, Discord, and it'll be my Discord apps. Anyways, let's say that this white burns your eyes. How do we change that? Well, you need to go down to your taskbar on the bottom right. You may need to open up your little folder thing, and you will see the flow launcher icon. Right click on it. Then we can open up settings. There's also game mode. So basically, if you turn on game mode, then if you press alt space, you're not going to go back to your desktop and try to search for WASD, ASD, ASD. D, you know, the basic stuff. Anyways, click on settings and you'll get your full launcher settings. Now that game mode thing I was talking about, you don't have to do it manually because we can just click on ignore hotkeys in full screen mode, which is highly recommended. Now you can turn on auto update if you want. I mean, why not, right? It's up to you if you want to. You have different types of precision. So this is all very much how the search is customized. Now the nice thing about Flow Launcher is that there's a whole bunch of plugins and a plugin store that you can actually go into. So all these plugins have different features. See, for example, by default, you have a calculator. So I mean, uh, five to the power of two, 25, straight and straightforward, pretty, pretty stinking easy, I'd say. Uh, in terms of the plugin store, there is a lot. Feel free to look through these or read them as I scroll. Good luck, now I'm scrolling way too fast. But there's actually a lot, like there's Obsidian, there's a lot of things that I didn't think would be on their Notion as well. Uh, Reddit, Steam. Uh, the fancy one I wanted to try was actually Spotify because we're looking at Spotify. That's how you install it. It'll throw it into the Flow Launcher, you press enter, then you press yes. It'll automatically install, restart, kaboom, kabang. Now with that plugin, if we just open back up the settings and we click on the plugin, it'll tell us that we need to use the action keyword SP. So if I press alt enter and do SP, then we need require auth authentication. So we need to authenticate our Spotify. Once you do all that stuff, basically it'll allow you to search for songs and play songs. Pretty straightforward, but something cool, you know? It, it, look at that, it, it intertwines with the Spotify I was just looking at. As I almost planned this, but I didn't. Anyways, let's move on to themes because themes are where everyone wants to be. So you can turn on a shadow if you want. It reduces performance, so that's all up to you. But if you scroll down, we have a whole bunch of themes we can look at. And I'm gonna expand this a little bit because we, we got a lot of settings. I don't wanna, I can span the whole thing. Screw it. Anyways, in terms of themes, we have Adam, black and white, blur darker. There, there are a lot of themes. And for example, they have Dracula. They have like Nord as well nor darker they have a lot of themes that a lot of people like so i mean you're gonna find something you like and if it's not something you like then you can uh create a theme by clicking on this link and going through the 30 page documentation probably or it might be simpler i don't know i'm assuming that most of you don't want to do that because i don't and that's basically it i mean there's there's a couple more settings down here but just just pick a theme that you like and go with it i mean it's it's not that difficult anyways so this is the theme that i chose and I'm gonna press Alt Space and kaboom. Already done, now I can search up uh, no text to speech. Press enter, it'll search for it on Google and wow, that's me baby. Anyways, that's how you make your windows nice and modern. We have our modern controls and we also have our little fancy thing. Space enter flow launcher and guess what? I even made them slightly match. That's how like, that's how big brain I am. Dang. So. How do we uninstall all this stuff? Well, if you already have rain meter skins, then you're just gonna go to your taskbar and right click on rain meter and then just unload the Jax core skin. If you have no idea what rain meter is, then follow the rest of this uninstall procedure. Press the start button, type in add or remove programs and press enter. Then what we need to do is search for rain meter, click on rain meter, click on install and click on install, press yes, and it should uninstall. Uh, uninstall kaboom it's that easy then what we need to do is we need to search up flow and we will see flow launcher we want to click on it and click on install click on install i really don't know why i show you this every single time because it's almost as if the uninstall procedure is almost the same every single time but i mean sometimes it's not and this is always good you know just just in case anyway sweetheart i think that's the end of the video because uh i'm losing my patience because my fortnite oven isn't turning on and getting me the fat w's that made no sense i think i'm going insane i'll see you next sunday i love you goodbye <laughs>